Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, welcome. I'm David. This is Warriors of Light, Astro Tarot. I'm doing a straight up heart spread. This is a love read, the one that's on your mind, the one you're thinking about, the one that's thinking about you. However you want to look at it, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, you in this reading coming in, by the way, Aries, with the lover's card here. Uh, Gemini card. And your person coming in with the justice card, classically Libra. I'm not sure. Well, if you think sun, moon, rising, and Venus, you might find Libra in your person. But it's more about a marriage in a, uh, or a relationship that's like a marriage. Um, so it's a little breezy here in uh, beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico. The studio, so uh, let me show you this reading. I can get in here as close as I can get here. Get you, where you can see it. Yeah. So the lovers over here. Uh, we're the soldier and the lovers. I always look at this is the gilded Tarawayel deck here. It's out of the way. The wind might blow it. So, um, you know, he's ethereal, kind of a ghost. I always point out with this particular deck. Um, so, um, it's putting your mind on love, and it's like there's someone that's on your mind. So, um, that's kind of where you're at in terms of the energy of love and romance with this. Yeah, um, in, in the astrology, you've got a really should be a strong energy still for you with Jupiter kind of slowing down. It could just hit in seven degrees a day. I'm doing this reading here uh, on Mo Monday. I always do Monday is Aries and Taurus Day, by the way. <laughs> so, um, just this week, it's just a uh, love reading. So, um, um, And so you've got Jupiter there and Mars. So it, what would this would tell me? That's a lot of energy. You know, it's a lot of positive energy. You would say it's a lot of dynamic energy, and also you know Mars ain't going to be there much longer in a matter of days or so. We, I mean, it's it's going to be off in a Taurus. I think yeah, by the Fourth of July. So another big change for the Fourth of July. Um. So the go juice is. It hopefully been on you. I'd love you to leave a comment. You know, my girlfriend's at Aries, and I can see this all over her. She's had a lot of good things. Kind of, uh, I think we're doing great. So, uh, it's in her, a lot of her 10 town stuff and uh, career. Um, so, now, your person here is the one, it could be dealing with, uh, there's something up in the air with this person. This is their energy of where they come from. Where it's not balanced, you know, I think. And, you, you know, they're in this energy of justice. This is a big karmic thing. And, you know, it's going to be around love, romance, and relationships, uh, Aries. Um, and very most likely, this here is going to be a marriage. Now, it could be the person. I mean, they're divorced and everything. But the marriage is so heavy on them, you know. It, they're carrying it with them just like, like they're still dealing with it. That's the thing. Like, how are you going to deal with your relationship? If uh, you're still dealing with that one, you know, kind of energy. Um, and now this is the energy of how they're relating to you specifically and how you're relating to them. It's obviously a very confrontational relationship. You know, the Seven of Wands, I would say with you, it's a righteous defense of the castle. I always look at the Seven of Wands most literal. And, you know, in this Gilded Terre Royale, I think they depict it pretty truly to how I, I like kind of like to see it you know he's there and he's like blocking this one door and he's like I don't care how many of you there are you're gonna have to come through this door one at a time and I will keep you from doing that and it just implies there's a righteous defense I always see patterns with seven though so in this position of how you're dealing with them you tell me leave me a comment Aries um, it's got to be the energy at some point you thinking to yourself like thinking this was the one this, And maybe this is the one from the past Maybe the one from the past got with you and says oh my marriage isn't going good Aries maybe like that um, That kind could be that kind of deal 
Um, and you're just like, oh, well, I knew it. You know, I was going to have to deal with this. Um, and obviously in dealing with you with the Ten of Wands, it's like, it's maybe it could be at its best. They're wanting to really put down all these burdens, from, but it's from this relationship. And you see what they're doing. They're moving into the relationship, just how this card depicts it, guys. So the energy towards you is what they are bringing you, this Ten of Wands burden. So there's something about this marriage, most likely. Could, you know, could literally just be children and responsibilities and, you know, uh, anything like that. It kind of implies to me with the Ten of Wands, guys. This is not, they're not like in a love relationship. It's not Aries like they're betraying you or anything like that with an ex. Um, there may be with an ex more, I'm thinking, depending, how, let's see, Aries, I don't know. It's not good for being a Scorpio, but there might be a lot of uh, communication with the ex. Potentially could be what this is, um, you know, and but in so that it's kind of burdening them, you know. Um, and this could be in their actions. So, um, and you're if you're reacting to them in the Seven of Wands, I got to think, Aries, who I'd again love to comment, um, you're kind of seeing what they're doing and like you're just calling it out, which is very Aries. I mean, again, we just said that Jupiter and Mars are in your sign. That's the great benefic and your Mars and your sign, the warrior, the pure warrior, you know, at home in Aries where it can be all the warrior it needs to be. So if ever you were going to be in an assertive position, Aries, it's now and even for the last month almost, right? Um got to see that's what's going on here. I always keep in mind with you guys, you know, you've got Saturn retrograde in there at 25 right now. So if you're later degree Aries, um, you're, you're having to deal with Pluto retrograde is bad enough, but Saturn retrograde is sextile. So it might represent somewhere during the summer where that Saturn is in your chart at retrograde at 25 Aquarius. Um, it could represent some kind of opportunity. Sextiles are like opportunities that you could maybe take advantage of. Um, and with your lover's card here, Aries, I kind of see you kind of manifesting too. Mm -hmm. Like you're manifesting love. So this is all about a love reading. So it's what's going on. Um, similarly, you've got Mercury now in uh, Gemini. And you're going to have... Um, Venus moving through there and this is going to be uh, sextile so in terms of Venus here like really good at communicating about what it is that you value and love a really good time if, as that Venus hits your sun for instance in your sun Aries by an exact sextile or with it, it's a quick so within a few days so you have a three or four day window for instance, we're super good time to do a um, promotional video or a, a start of anything where you're going to be visual, people are going to be looking at you. Um, a great time to have a job interview if you, or to ask for, I always tell people if I see this in their charts, I'm working with them. I'm like, make a note of this date because this here will be a great time to do a job interview because you're probably just going to naturally, no matter even if you don't particularly try, it's, you're just going to naturally sort of come across as more likable to people. That's kind of the energy of that by astrology. And it, advice from spirit here is the full card for you. This is advice from spirit and kind of how to best take this relationship and interact, say. And this is advice from your person here, for your person, from spirit. Um, this classic two of wands here. And the um, Gilded Terra Royale. So I always say, you know, I don't necessarily trust myself or anyone else or ever the effing government, but I always trust spirit. And this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. And that's you, Aries. Sir, shit, that's you. Male or female doesn't matter. This is you. Um, so the advice card is you in the reading. And I often say this is of the eight cards, the most important card in this deck, guys. Um, I will get into the bottom of the deck, too. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a clarifier to the outcome, the Nine of Cups, which is great. 
Um, but with advice here, this is means it's really the universe is trying to tell you, like, pour on Aries. Like, whatever you're doing, like, double it. You know, uh, turn the volume up, turn the dial up, stoke it up, stoke the fire up. Um, you know, and now doubly so in this relationship, the fool coming under the seven of wands. Now, and this is very important because this is the advice from spirit. It's like this, this seven of wands is often like a repetitive thing and you think you're seeing it. And it's so what it, you're being advised is to, um, lay down your arms, like chill and accept and take a chance on this person. Clearly what it's saying is take a chance on this person. And for your person, if they're listening, if there's a cross watcher, I'd love also for this video to be shared if it resonates, you know, with your person or anyone. Uh, maybe to help even in gender communication together, that'd be great. Um, even if someone doesn't like it, it's like a bunch of crap, you know, maybe they get, you, get some talking about whatever is somehow ends up being cool for you to talk about, right? But so their advice is to make a choice and it's going to bring actions. You know, it's all about these actions, 10 wands. So, I mean, with them, I almost get a sense here, Aries, that the advice would be make a list of the 10 things in your life that you spend doing. Like, it won't be hard to do the first, like, five. And you have to think. But, you know, and then, you know what? Out of those, you can have to cut eight of them out. Cut eight of them out could be one way to look at it. Uh, and it could also be a choice here involved very clearly very the most simple most direct thing would be for this person you're thinking of engaged with their Aries they're going to have to make a choice you know um, and but you are being very much told you just don't don't influence them don't worry about it and in fact <laughs> what you're being told uh, is let me put this because this is going to blow away wow such a delicious breeze but this is the bottom of the deck. So you have this queen of swords here. If I can get her, get her into focus. Um, and there's a beautiful queen of swords. I want to show it because of the doves. There's so many doves. I always say this is the Gilded Tail Royale. It kind of takes the little bit of the um, sting out of the queen of swords. This is a little bit softer queen of swords. But nevertheless, just as um, direct a forceful in the truth um the queen of swords could be cutting off something um cutting cutting ties um and you know uh, it's got the cat down here so I always just keep leo in mind keep the fifth house in mind for you guys um because i feel like this is the bottom of the deck for you guys it's um it's kind of about um, really asserting yourself. And that's why this King of Wands is important. It's like, um, this is not the time to hide your light under a bushel basket, is the biblical term. Uh, it's the time to shine, you know, um, here. in the Nine of Cups is being emotionally stable and whole in yourself. And it's exactly what you need in order to get to the Ten of Cups and the by the way, I got to say, because under the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups. So what do you need to get to the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups? So you, you're there. <laughs> and, it, and it's all about really just asserting yourself and just being totally yourself, doing what you do, being Aries. You know, that, that energy of like, this, this is what I want. This is what I, being very open and honest about it. And then people can align around you because, you know, you're a cardinal sign. It's your job to direct Aries, and then, you know, I say it the way I say it is like, I'm just going to go over here, I'm going to burn, and if y'all want to burn, then that's cool, and if not, you just get the hell back from my fire. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Aries. Like, share, subscribe, please, if you would, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you, guys.